Hi everyone, Melanie here from Balloon Artsworks in Derbyshire in the UK and today I'm showing you how to make this lovely flower balloon bouquet. For the flower stem I'm using a 260 with a little over a one finger tail. Give your balloon a squeeze and make some loop twists of about five fingers. Twist and pass the knot and nozzle through. That's going to make sure that doesn't come undone. Give your balloon another squeeze and make another loop to match this one. Okay, and another squeeze, and by this time you should be pretty much fully inflated. And then one more loop. Okay, there you go. For the blower head, you're going to need two 260 balloons. I'm just putting a twist in that and then I'm going to inflate the next one. Okay, and then I need to let a little out of that, I think. Just to about the five finger tail and then tie these two balloons together to form a duplex. Give everything a little squeeze to make sure it's nice and soft. And then twist a bubble of a couple of fingers in one balloon and we're going to pinch twist that just pull the bubble up and twist it around and then in the second balloon make another bubble okay of a couple of fingers and pinch twist that and just pull it up and pinch twist it okay so that's what we've got Next, we're going to measure off a bubble that is perhaps about four inches or so, and then make another bubble to match this one. So just measure the two together and twist them together. Okay. In the other balloon, we're going to make two bubbles to match these. So just give everything a squeeze, make the bubbles match as close as we can and then make another bubble to match this one. Okay, and then just twist those two together and wrap around the other two. Okay, okay so that's what you've got and you've got a pinch twist on each side. Okay, give your balloon a bit of a squeeze. And with this balloon, we're going to make a bubble that is just a little bit larger than this, perhaps by about half an inch or so. Okay, and then make another bubble to match this one. And twist those together. And with the same balloon that you used to make this, these two bubbles, make a bubble to match okay so we want another pair of bubbles to match so just slightly larger than this first set okay wrap those around okay so this is what you've got so far and then with this longer balloon we want to make a bubble that is about half an inch larger than these bubbles okay and then make another one to match that one. Okay, and just twist those together. Okay, and then wrap the end round. Okay. So this is what you've got. Okay. So this shorter balloon, we can just trim off the end. Okay. And in fact, we can do the same with this second balloon. So just trim off the end and with the time. Okay. Take your flower stem and the shorter of the two tails that you've got, and use that short tail to pull 
the flower into the stem, but you, you want to make sure that the shorter balloon, the shorter piece of excess is coming in between these two first sets of bubbles that you made. Okay, so just pull that in, wrap around a few times, and pull back into the flower head. Okay, just arrange everything. Okay, so that's nice and secure on top of your flower stem. Take hold of this long piece of slack and we're going to pass it over the top of the balloon. So you're going to need to pull it really taut and then pull it through the join of these balloons over the top, over the top of the next one, okay? Over the top of this one and over the top of the last one. Keeping everything really taut, then pass it through into the stem here, and then wrap it in. Okay, and then just take hold of that stem and wrap it into the pinch twist there, that little bit of excess there. Now, you may find that your petals have gone off to one side. Just push your petals along. That's uh, 260, you stretch in between until everything sits fairly centrally and you're happy with it. I make a few more of these. Next I'm using a 260 in silver with a one finger tip and I'm going to make a bubble that is about four to five inches or so. And then I'm going to make a loop that is about the same size. Okay, put everything in the squeeze and make another loop to match. Okay, just those two together. By now you're probably fully inflated, just give everything a bit of a squeeze and a stretch and twist off the small bubble. A couple of fingers, I'm going to pinch twist that, so just grab hold of that bubble, pull it upwards and twist it round, okay? And that just pinch twists that bubble, okay? Take your flowers and your bow and just wrap the end of that 260 around the back of the flowers and into this junction here with the uh, flower petal loops and the pinch twist. So, I can't quite see what I'm doing, so I'm just going to take a quick peek, wrap everything in and around. And then adjust so that everything sits as you want it to. To make a smaller flower head, as I've done here, you can just use just one 260 and make slightly smaller bubbles and it works a treat. I'll see you again in the next video.